What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be creating an announcement for this week's Advanced Balkan Architect course. And the topic of this course or this week's course is a topic that you have been asking me for a very long time and that's to do a beginner's tutorial or a beginner's course where I show you all of the tools and features that Revit has on offer for creating plumbing in Revit and to explain all of that on a simple building project. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this week's course. So the point of this video is I'm going to go through all of the, uh, all, everything that I show you in this course. And then in the end, I'm, I'm just going to explain how to get access to this course and to the project files that I use. Okay, so now let's head into Revit to explain everything that I'm showing you. So here, as you can see, we have some plumbing fixtures, but they're all inside of this house. Now you can see the house is kind of grayed out. And uh, if I select it, you're going to see that here it says Revit links. So that basically means that this project has been linked uh, into Revit. So because when you're doing plumbing in Revit, you basically want to have one architecture project and then you link it in another project that's used for plumbing. So you have those two separated. So both the architect and the plumbing engineer can work kind of separately and in the same time. Anyways, so I show you how to link up the project and I show you two basic approaches when working in plumbing uh, with plumbing in Revit and that's basically I have these two bathrooms. So in this bathroom, I show you what to do when the architect leaves, leaves basically the bathroom empty. So it's up to the plumbing engineer to place all of the elements within the bathroom. And then in the other case is where the architect left all of the elements. So if I select it, as you can see, all of these elements highlight with the Revit link. So all of the uh, all of the the plumbing fixtures have been left in by the architect, and then it's up to the plumbers only to uh, install the connectors and then use those connectors to connect all of the pipes and solve all of the routing of all of the pipes. So that's what I show you in this case. So I show you basically the two approaches and of course I show you the kitchen approach. Now of course it's really important to heat up all of the water so that's why I show you how to add the uh, hot water heater both the one with the tank and also this tankless one here for the kitchen and for this small bathroom as it's a small bathroom so it doesn't need a lot of hot water so this might be a more efficient solution. Here in the garage I show you how to add this floor drain and then how to connect it to a everything else. It's usually a smart idea to have a floor drain uh, inside of your garage just because when maybe it's snowing there's a lot of snow or water on your car and it, then it should have a place to drain. So I show you all of that. I show you how to get cold water to your house. So basically how to connect to your water supply and then how to get that water to your uh, home and then how to connect all of the cold water connectors. And then of course, how to uh, get your cold water to the water heater and then how to heat it up and get that hot water to all of the fixtures for the shower, for this sink over here, for the kitchen sink and all of that. Once we have sh shown how to get water to our plumbing fixtures, then it's time to show you how to get water away from plumbing fixtures. And that's these green lines over here. That's the sanitary piping. If I go into 3D, maybe it's a bit easier to understand. And also for sanitary piping, it's really important to have that slope. So it all kind of goes away naturally. It doesn't have to be pressurized. And as you can see here uh, in these views, it's, it is sloped. So Revit does all of the calculations calculations for us, we basically tell it in which direction we want water to go in and in which direction we want our pipes to go in. And then Revit does all of the hard work. That's that's really cool. So I show you how to connect all of the elements. So here for the uh, this water closet, here for this uh, sink, here for the other sink. As you can see, it's completely connected for the water closet that's connected underneath over here for the shower and here for this complex sink that has basically two connectors. So be because it's a double sync so I show you what to do in that case as well. So I show you basically in all of the strange and, and different cases that you might uh, con come into contact in real life when working, I show you all of that within this simple project. So I basically show you all of the tools and features for plumbing. Now, if you want to get access to this course, I suggest you check out the first link in the description of this video. So first link in the description, it takes you to my Patreon. That's where you get to support your favorite creators, in this case, my channel, if you 
would like to support this channel and by supporting me you will get access to all of my Revit courses I've got this is like 20 22 courses so far they are all uh, over one hour long this course is like one hour and 20 minutes so it's very long I go into all of the details and all of the tricks and tips how to download all of the fixtures pretty much everything you need to know to do a simple project like this even if you maybe have no experience in working with plumbing in Revit so that's what's the point of this course. So if you're interested in that, first link in the description to my Patreon. You Also there you will get access to all of my uh, Revit files. Uh, of course this file, all of my files for my courses and tutorials. I've got over 300 Revit files so far. So they're really useful if you want to just go through it and just kind of to check it out how, how I modeled everything and so you can work alongside uh, this project. Okay, so that concludes this little announcement for this week's course. So first link in the description to my Patreon and I'll be back with another regular Balkan architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.